The medical marijuana centers and dispensaries are getting most of the attention, okay? Um, where should they be located? How many people should they be allowed to serve? Uh, do they bring crime to a community? How many patients should they have and should doctors be associated? Can they make a profit? Josh Stanley is an operator of Peace and Medicine and president of this group called Coloradans for Medical Marijuana Regulation. You actually want regulation, Josh. You, you run a dispensary. People might say, well, Josh, you want regulation, but not really. Do you want regulation? What do you want? We absolutely do want regulation. We realize that if you're in gumballs or toothpicks, you're going to be regulated. We want an intellectual place at the table so that we can provide responsible regulation that provides safe access to our patients. So we know regulation is coming. We want to have a hand in that to be able to protect the access of the patients to the medicine. And you want taxes? Absolutely. We've been preaching this from the beginning. We've been paying taxes since our conception. We teach other dispensaries how to pay taxes. We do a little business 101. That's what the CMMR is all about. Um, taxes are a privilege, and we want to be able to help Colorado out in that respect. So you want to have a legitimate business, you want to be regulated, but what about the regulation now? Do you think it's too restrictive? What do you not like about it? Well, And then we'll have Chris Romer come up and talk about some of it. Well, what do you not like? Let's say, what are the points you don't like about the current proposed regulations? Well, I, I think the first thing to point out is the wants and needs, or the needs and desires, where it puts the local authorities, local neighborhood authorities, and, and uh, people that may be anti to the cause, uh, responsible for telling these places, are you going to be in business? And you know, because most of them are going to say no, and most of them are going to say no, and it's unfortunate because that's a liquor store model, okay? And, and we can't compare a recreational drug to something that's been deemed constitutionally medical. I think that that's our our first thing. You know, another thing. So is, you don't think local authorities should have the uh, the right to say you can open or not? No, no, especially, you know, we have to get away from that liquor store model, something that's constitutionally medical versus something that's a recreational drug. I think that's a horrible comparison. But you want to be regulated but not necessarily turned away. Absolutely. A local marijuana licensing authority, which is in the bill, would look to be something that's very apt. You like that, a licensing authority? I do. I, th I think that that part of the regulation seems Background to be very Background checks and all of that? Background checks are great. Background checks you have to go through before you okay. open a, a bevy of different All right, businesses. so you don't like the local angle where they can turn you down. What else don't you like? Well, I think it's, I think it's irresponsible to take on the approach of a nonprofit. Because as I stated earlier, we want to pay taxes. We want to contribute to Colorado's deficit. That would take away the taxes. Yeah, it, well, it would. I mean, Except you know, for income taxes. If they want us to go nonprofit, there's a lot of different ways that the state isn't going to get their money. That's not what we're here for. We want to be able to pay the state to ch chip in for this deficit. What about uh, the limit of patients? We talked about this once before. That actually makes marijuana more prevalent in neighborhoods. It absolutely does. If you take what they're telling us is on the registry for 100,000 patients and you went down to law enforcement's wish of 5 to be, 1. That would be 20,000. 20,000 caregivers that you're going to push into the residential community. Because they have to grow somewhere. Unregulated grows. You get no tax dollars, security risks, health risk. I mean, you have fire hazards, carbon monoxide poisoning, pesticides Wait, going it, down the drain. Is that the current proposal, though, really, to, to limit everyone to 5? So we would literally have to have 20,000 caregivers? If law enforcement got its way, I think that that's... That's what they were looking for. But I, I, I have to, I have to uh, give uh, many congratulations to Chris Romer and Representative Massey. They've done a great job in steering away from that to protect the viability of the medical marijuana uh, do you distribution like, center. Do you like their bill, or are there some things about that? There's though? some things that we're going to come to the table and change, but that's what CMMR is for. Colorado's for medical marijuana regulation. We want that regulation. We have a seat at the table, and we're, we're excited. We're excited about being able to make these changes, amend some of these things, that quite frankly, limit the patient's access. So you like the idea of, uh, of limiting access. Uh, what about the doctor-dispensary relationships? What do you think? Well, I think it's important to have doctors associated with dispensaries, but also, you know, that arm's length. You can't have them profiting. You know, they can't have them benefiting. It has like to, you have to have a clear delineation. That's correct. Owner. But if you have a doctor in a dispensary, what you've brought in now is an all-encompassing education model, okay? A lot of people that come in, we have a lot of different elderly that come in and that are, quite frankly, they're embarrassed that medical marijuana is something that helps them get through chemotherapy, for example. So to have a doctor on site to provide that education, we feel is extremely beneficial. But there would be no doctors allowed on site? The way it's currently written, yes. We hope to come to the table and be well, able to Are they remember. automatically assuming if a doctor is there, it's going to be too easy to get? I think so. Or they're going to be pressured by the dispensary? I think that's a big misconception, Tom. 
when a doctor is on site, it eases these, these people's mind. You know, they, they're able to get an idea of what strains are going to help for what, to each particular illness. Josh, we didn't ask this, but do you have a contact, uh, either website or email or phone number you want to give out for people interested in Coloradans for medical marijuana regulation? Absolutely. Stay up to date on this. Go to COMMR.org. Wait, CO, Colorado, COMMR.org. All right, COMMR.org. Thanks for being here, Josh.